You're invested in cryptocurrencies, you have a lot of money on your MetaMask, you're invested in different coins, and you recently got a ledger or a hardware wallet. And now the question you're asking is whether or not you should just import the seed phrase from your MetaMask onto your newly acquired hard wallet. So I actually had the exact same question when I initially got my ledger. I did some research and I wanted to share this with you guys so you don't make this mistake. Now, I personally got a Ledger Nano X. This one here was around $200 Canadian for me. It's not that bad considering because if you really are a investor in crypto, you're going to have a lot more money than just $200 into your MetaMask. So it's a no brainer in my opinion to get a hardware wallet. Now, the question I had and the question you may have is, should I be importing my MetaMask seed phrase onto my ledger? And the answer is absolutely not. Now, if you're wondering if you should use MetaMask and import your ledger's words on MetaMask or your ledger's seed phrase onto MetaMask, you should absolutely not do that either. So it works both ways. You should not be taking your MetaMask wallet's seed phrase and importing that into your ledger and vice versa. Now, if we take a look at the reasoning behind this and what Ledger says in their documentation, they say that seeding your MetaMask recovery phrase into your Ledger device basically defeats the entire purpose of having a Ledger wallet. Now, if you are familiar with MetaMask, which I assume you are in this video, you have a wallet and you have funds in it. And now if you take that wallet and you use the 12 word seed phrase that MetaMask gave you, you import that onto your ledger. The reason why you're defeating everything is because this MetaMask wallet was actually created online. It was connected to the internet and those 12 words that access your wallet are potentially compromised and if you do import that into your ledger, then the ledger security is going to be absolutely irrelevant because again, it comes from the 12 word seed phrase that you used from MetaMask, which is connected to the internet when you do create a new wallet. So that's exactly what it says here. And the reason why your ledger is so safe is because once you do set it up, it is going to create you a 24 word seed phrase, but it doesn't have any digital copy of that phrase because that ledger is literally creating the seed phrase on the device itself. It's not connected to the internet. It's not connected to anything. And you are creating that seed phrase on the device itself. Now on the flip side, if you've created a new wallet on your ledger, you've done that 24 word seed phrase, everything is going to plan. And then you have the brilliant idea to come to your MetaMask and actually import this new wallet that you've created that's using a 24 word seed phrase. And you wanna import that into MetaMask. Well, I'll tell you right now, you're essentially doing the same thing. And the reason why is because you're going to be compromising your wallet's seed phrase by putting those 24 words into MetaMask in order to have access to your ledger. So again, you shouldn't be doing that. I'll reiterate, don't actually import your 12 word seed phrase from your current MetaMask wallet onto your ledger or don't import the 24 word seed phrase from your ledger to MetaMask. The way you actually want to use your ledger on MetaMask is if you go onto your wallet and you connect a hardware wallet, this is the way to do it and whichever wallet you do have. In my case, I have the Ledger Nano X. So if I click that, I click continue. Obviously right now it's not connected. I've already done that. But if you have your ledger connected to your computer, it's going to show up here and you'll be able to import whichever wallet address you want. Now, as we can see, I've already done that. I have imported three ledger addresses, as we can see here, and I still do use my hot wallet because 
Sometimes I don't carry around my ledger. And if I want to do something DGEN, especially on the DeFi side of things, I can have access to my funds in a hot wallet. But some of the longer term plays that I have in my wallet, I keep in my ledger. So I'm kind of differentiating between some riskier plays in my hot wallet where I can come in and out without having access to my ledger. And then my ledger, I'm keeping my long term plays in there. So that's the quick video on whether or not you should import your MetaMask into your ledger or your ledger into MetaMask, definitely do the right steps by connecting your hardware wallet this way. Don't import your 24 word seed phrase in MetaMask. It defeats the whole purpose of the ledger itself. And that is definitely the number one tip I can give you if you're looking to have a hardware wallet, and in this case, a ledger, but it also applies to treasures and other hardware wallets. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the quick tip video. If you did, smash the like button. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.